as an air cannon target, I got this little TV here from work. Unfortunately, I can't get it to fire up. It had a bad electrolytic capacitor in it. I tried changing that, but unfortunately, that just proved that there was other damage on the TV's main board. So all I've been able to do to this one is, well, I've cut the implosion band, and uh, I won't be able to shoot this one running, but it's about to take an air cannon round. Should be interesting. Here's a closer look at the TV. It's been uh, prepped for a good pop. It's not a very big one. I wish it could have been running, but can't have everything from a junk TV, I guess. For this small TV, I've set up the fire extinguisher tank, an electronically controlled solenoid valve air cannon, the 72-inch breech-loading caliber 565 barrel has been attached, and I will shoot this TV with a 390 grain hard alloy cast lead slug. Here goes. The little TV has been set up 10 meters downrange with two of my little high speed video cameras near it to record what happens. Well, let's go fire at this little TV. <laughs> Clearly hit it pretty close to center of screen with a little dust rising from the back slowly. This TV had a tough little tube. The CRT didn't blow apart. I put a nice hole and a lot of cracks in the front of it, and my slug pushed the yoke right off the back of the tube, as you can see here. I, of course, as always, aim my shot so that the lead slug would clear the circuit board leaving me the electronic salvage, including the flyback, intact. Here's a look at what that 390 grain caliber 565 hard lead slug did to the front of this CRT. Drilled a nice hole and a lot of cracking. I just wish this TV could have been running, but there was no way it would work.